When I talk about accelerated learning, it's using more than your um, linear skills, and I'll, I'll break down what linear means in a minute, but it's more than just reading something. It's absorbing information with other with some of your other senses. And so when I start to teach you this accelerated learning process, what I'm going to do is start to teach you how to access both left and right brain simultaneously. I'm going to teach you how to access information out of books so that you can get it instantaneously or based on how you need it. Now that's not to say, uh, so when I say I read 50,000 words a minute, what I'm telling you is I'm reading or absorbing 50,000 words a minute and how do I determine that? I'm reading half a page a second, so then I'm reading 50,000 words a minute. And most people ask me, well, does that mean you have a photographic memory? But it's not the memory, do I remember everything when I read through a book and uh, 50,000 words a minute, can I remember it all right away and, or can you tell me exactly what it said? It's not about memory, it's about recall. And it doesn't have to be right or you know, upside down or, or right side up. It can see it all. OK, so that's the first step we're going to start is that you can start to put information in. Now, how do we pull it back out? And so the very first experience I'm going to give you is with our little, because there's going to be a key. It's going to be, I, I'm going to give you some experiences where you can put the information in. And the only way you're going to start to believe it is if you start to have references or experience of instant recall, right? Then you go, hey, maybe there might be something to that. So hopefully in the next 30 minutes, as I start to get you into the book and get you into some states, other than linear thinking, as I start to get you into some states of how, um, how to open up the other senses that you use to process information in your reading process, so you have some experiences and start to learn how to recall. So the very first thing we're going to do is, and it's uh, I, I picked this book, Where's Waldo, because Everyone who knows about Where's Waldo knows what the whole objective is, right? What's the objective of Where's Waldo? Finding Waldo. Finding Waldo. Okay. So when we go into any one of these books, you're going to go into the book because you're going to go look for a specific thing, right? So I want you to start thinking about flipping through pages because you're looking for specific information that you can bring into your conscious mind now, okay? So first of all, so let me show you a process that we're going to duplicate. So it's not a coincidence when I pick this book that it gives you some little instructions. Now most kids, they probably don't read the instructions. But I'll read them to you. The instructions say, the wild, wild west. Yeehaw, Waldo watchers. Have you ever seen such a wild, wild western? Here comes the wagon train. Steaming into town, the gold rush is on, and a cowboy is riding off into the sunset. There's so much action, so much excitement. I wonder if the real Wild West was as bright and colorful as this. So what did that little text just give you? It gave you a general idea of what was going on in this page, right? OK, so when you learn to photo read, or when you learn to absorb, absorb information in a book, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to read the front page. You're going to read the back page, and you're going to read the table of contents, because that's going to tell you what the book's about. OK? And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip through it. So you're going to just take it and get a general picture of what's going on. That's where you're going to go in and um, flip through every page. And then you're going to come back, and you're going to start to outline questions that you want answered. And that's going to trigger your unconscious mind to bring up the information that my conscious mind is asking for right now. Okay, so we're going to go through some of these. And, I, and the books that I brought out are books in my own personal library that I actually teach from. And I picked certain books based on the different purposes that you're sitting in the class today. So for you, you're, um, let's see, what were some of the books I went, wanted you to read? Um, I'm going to have you reading some books on creating wealth. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have you reading some books on investing in the stock market. And I'm going to have you reading some books on intuition, because you wanted to learn and um, uh, tap into some training skills on how to develop your, um, what I'll refer to as your spiritual gifts, some of the other modalities of learning, um, intuition, um, clairvoyance, telepathy. Uh, what's the other one? Well, those are enough of them. Um, and to tell you my personal experience, my first taste of intuition 
I developed the skills from the photo reading process, from starting to feel where information came from my conscious mind and when information came from my other than conscious mind. And that experience and how it felt in my body is what started to get my attention to say, hey, there's other, other senses you have here. And it was that process that well, I believe is my stepping stone to getting me into some of the other skills that I now have, to be able to know something before it happens, to be able to think a thought and then have it happen, or to be able to know somebody else's experience that they had maybe 20 years ago. So, and you've given me great feedback of, yep, I'm really reading it. In fact, the first time you went through it when you said growth companies, I could actually feel the information that you were accessing. I, I could read the information off you, and that's actually what I'm now able to do is my skill has become so um, strong, that muscle's been used so much that I can actually read information or knowledge or um, uh, experiences from you just by being in the space. And that is what the accelerated learning um, interactive live class does is it starts to, there becomes a flow of knowledge, what I call a morphogenic field, and we're just entering that morphogenic field, you access information where you don't have to read the information. You don't have to do the work that you're used to doing. You can access it from other people. And so I encourage you to um, join one of my classes when we take and read 10 books on investing in the stock market and then take the stock market class and you'll start to see this information coming out of the un other con than conscious mind when you need to make a decision. And you'll have more references to make that decision by. Or whether it's even in the um, clothing, if you're trying to determine how to develop your unique style but you don't want to sit and read all these books or go through all these different concepts, it's just by being able to absorb information from books have it stored in the other than conscious mind and then you start asking questions mm -hmm. and that would be the benefit of taking the classes. I'll direct you to specific questions you need to be able to ask in order to make the decisions you've got to make. Whether it's in the stock market, whether it's in real estate, whether it's in taxation, whether it's in learning um, skills on intuition, any of the different programs I have is that I will, the benefit of taking an accelerated learning class on a specific uh, uh, subject with me is I'll be able to direct you to the experts in the industry, here's their books, go through them in two minutes, and then let's pick out specific things that you're going to need to learn in order to be successful in this endeavor that you're wanting to um, add to your, to your experiences. Thanks for joining me, and um, I encourage you to start going through books. In fact, I'd like you to go through all my stock books in two minutes. When you're here, just make sure you just flip through tw just like that two minutes, and then we'll start teaching you how to do it, and you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll learn because you've got the foundation in the other than conscious mind, and then my skill is to be able to show you how to pull it out. Okay? Great. Thanks for being here. Thank you.